Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back to Learning Redstone. Today I'm going to be covering Tickers, a device that allows you to have a pulse of redstone. So, this is the first one I have to show you here. This is probably my least favourite one out of the ones I have to show you. Uh, reasons for this is it's quite large. If we just activate it here. And also it's very unstable. So if we turn it on here, you can see that the redstone torches, after you have to replace these two repeaters, the redstone current is going to pulse it is right now and you can strap on your redstone devices to these all along these blocks here and they will be powered so let's turn this off here this one's very easy to build but again my least favorite because it can be very unpredictable at times and it can turn itself off which is not very good so if you want to just place what I'm doing here, two blocks with the torch on the side, redstone on the top, and now place two repeaters on the side. And there you are. This is the second one. It's very simple and very compact. It uses two redstone repeaters, one facing one direction, one facing the opposite direction. Uh, with two bits of redstone on the side. And to activate it, place a torch next to it. It's going to power up. And you're going to remove the piece of redstone on the side and replace it back down very quick. And there you are, and that will never burn out. Uh, in the current 1.2.5, this is quite buggy, but in the latest snapshot, it's working perfectly fine. So you can plug your redstone devices coming off these wires. Uh, this one's very nice, uh, probably my second favourite one to show you today. And it's a nice one to implement into your builds because of how small it is. This is the third one I have to show you today. It's really good. It's my favourite one. It's uh, probably the second biggest. And it uses a repeater here. And you can set the delay. So the fourth, the fourth tick works. That's the slowest setting. First one you can't use because it burns out. You can use the second one here. And it will work up to there. So you have three modes to set on there. Good thing about this one is it can be turned on and off. So if you're using uh, a redstone build, you can just send a current to this block here, and it will turn it off. And you can, so this means you can activate it from a distance, like this, off, on. So this is my favourite one. Uh, things you can implement tickers into is something like this: a jumping puzzle for your adventure map. Obviously, something a little bit more special than what I have here. So if we turn it on here by using the T flip flop we covered in the last learning redstone video. You can attempt to jump across the top here. So that's something you can build with lava on the bottom and they can pull away and you can set that to what you want. Here we are. These are this is the redstone ticker I just showed you but it uses a block instead of a piece of redstone so where there was a piece of redstone here where there's a piece of redstone here there's now a block just to save space and that travels up into the sticky piston here with the block on the other side and this repeater in this side now is now powering it so that's turning it off and that goes around to our T flip flop here that we covered in the last video you can check that out if you haven't watched that already Here's the button, so when the button's been hit, redstone current goes off these blocks and allows it to push them. And I've set them to a little bit of different speed here. This one's on the third tick and this one's on the fourth. So that's all I have to show you today, guys. If you want to suggest a redstone video for me to cover, I'll give you a shout out in the video description. Hopefully you guys like this. If you did, hit the subscribe button up top, like the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.